What's going on guys? Back here doing a review. This is a primary arm six times magnification for the 22 LR. And I was really surprised with how well this, this scope works. This might start a new series on my YouTube channel and it's gonna be budget friendly shooting. So I might do a couple videos just going over my 22. Um, it's bone stock right now, but I think I'm gonna upgrade little features on it. So I'm just gonna walk you through with what I do and how I'm gonna upgrade my rifle. But this is definitely the first step on uh, getting my rifle back in the field. I had the one inch tube on it. Um, like I said, six time magnification. The exit pupil is 5.2 millimeters. Uh, the field of view is 17.5 feet at 100 yards, which is not that bad. It actually works out really well. Um, the click value is uh, 1 fourth MOA. And to do that, all you do is uh, remove these caps right here. And it's actually toolless. It has a little notch on the top. So you can just grab it with your hand and the windage is actually the same way. So you just remove the cap. And then I don't know if you can see it from there, but there's just little knobs and you can turn it. And it's definitely a scope where you uh, set it and forget about it because it does have the bullet drop in it. And if you can see right here, it actually goes out to 200 yards. So you have the million or the marking for uh, you zeroed at 50 yards. Your first little mark is 100 yards, and then you have 125, 150, 175, and then 200 yards. And I'll roll in some footage, but yeah, this thing definitely works. I had it out to uh, 150 yards with uh, 22 shooting clay pigeons, the little clay saucers, and it was nailing them. You know, I was really surprised. I actually took out some uh, family members, and uh, my little sister and her boyfriend, and he did, actually never shot before and took him out and they were both nailing uh, the clays out to about 125, 150 yards with no problem at all. And the scope is really nice. It's really easy to get used to and it definitely works really well. Um, it is actually waterproof as well and uh, fog resistant. So, I mean, they put all the features in this scope that they put in the, the nicer scope. And for $120, you can't go wrong with it. Um, it is black anodized coating um, on the outside and um, and the length is 9.25 inches, you know, little package. Um, the weight is 12 ounces without the rings and I actually went through and got the primary arms ring to go with it. Um, so it's a one inch low rings. The saddle height is 0.25 inches and the central height is 0.75. So that's basically just meaning how far, you know, above your rifle your scope's gonna sit. And with the Ruger 1022, these little rings, they fit just fine. They work with Picatinny rails and Weaver style rails. Uh, they do not work with the dovetails though. So if you do have a dovetail, um, you're gonna wanna get some different rings in this. And, um, you know, one of the good things about this scope is it does have a three year manufacturer warranty. And I have sent some scope, I have sent one of my scopes back in to Primary Arms for repair and they fixed it no problem. They sent it back to me two days after they got it. So they actually stand behind the product, which is definitely a good thing. Um, I did weigh the scope with the rings and it weighs 16.25 ounces. So it's not incredibly heavy. Um, it, it's a pretty nice package, you know, it, it doesn't add a lot, of, a lot of weight to your 22. So the way that the ring estimator works is if the clay target fits within the circle or the same diameter as the outer circle, you're at 50 yards. Or if it's bigger, then you're within 50 yards and you can just hold right on and take the shot. If it fits within the two points right here, you're at 100 yards. You hold right at the top of the post and pull the trigger. If it's the same as the line right here, then that's 125, then 150 yards, 175, then 200 yards. And you also do have your wind holds at a five mile an hour. So those help out a lot. And then on this side, you have your range estimator for your, bolt, uh, for your cans and your bottles. If it's the width of the line of a can, that's your range. And then you're going with the height for the bottle. So it works good like that. If you are gonna shoot a uh, small game, you can use it as well, you know, depending, just kind of 
kind of take an idea of how big the animal is compared to a bottle or a can. But, you know, roughly a squirrel is a width of a can. So you can use, you know, not counting the tail, you can use that for the body or the hawk or not hawk, the or the crow is about the height of a bottle. So you can kind of use that for the height of that too. So same with the rabbit, you know, you just kind of have to take an idea about w how big the animal is compared to one of the, these three objects. Um, roughly the body of a rabbit is about the same as a clay. And then, um, you know, the smaller game, you know, kind of estimate how big they are compared to a bottle or a can. And it, it gets you right on. So my overall impression of the scope is it's good. After using it for a while and taking some new shooters out and trying it out, it was fun and easy to use. It's a really good scope to get people going. And if you just want to take your 22 out and have some fun with it, I would suggest it. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. Thank you